Well, what's going on in the pole barn? Well, I gotta start up a fire in the Natty Buckeye. Get a little warmth in here. I think I've decided that I'm gonna put this starter back together. It's about a minimum of a hundred bucks to get a starter. And believe it or not, I'm gonna try to put this back together with the bad magnet, half a magnet and one. See how it runs. See if it'll turn this thing over. Yeah. I'll come back later after I get it done. And uh, I guess that's it for now. Okay, I got the got the commutator uh, sanded down. I got the brush set installed. So we're gonna put this together. Where the hell is the thing? Uh, it's hard to work with one hand. Okay, gotta put that on. Putting that on. And we're going to slide this doohickey on here. I got things greased. And we're going to put this cover on. And then we'll tighten it up. Button it up. All right, here's the bench test. Seems a lot quieter than it was. Okay, let's see how the starter sounds now. You know, sometimes when I turn the key on, I get a little blast. One of the cylinders must fire. It must, it must fire a spark plug in there. Once in a while, it'll belch out a, a little puff anyway let's turn it on see how how she turns over now yeah same deal i think my starter clutch is bad Let's see. Hey, it's only turning a little bit. Got a couple of turns out of it. Back to the drawing board. I have to tear this cover off, put a new starter clutch in. Okay, we're back at it, working on the venture. I uh, managed to pull the rotor off. Managed to pull the rotor off. Had to put a puller on it. It's tightening it down with the uh, impact wrench. I broke two eight millimeter bolts, grade eights. Uh, set it up again. Got some more bolts, and then uh, I whacked it with the sledgehammer there on the end of the puller. Still wasn't coming off. And then I put some good tension on it with the puller and whacked it with that uh, that plastic hammer there and it popped off. So you flip it over and it's got the, uh, the one-way uh, bearing on here, or the starter clutch. 
It's got these little dogs that go in, in inside little grooves here with these springs and retainers. I did notice that these these screws are loose holding this on. I don't know if that's part of the problem. And then I noticed there's a spring for each one of these that pushes these into a into the pocket. And uh, two of them are broken. One of them's okay. I went and got some other springs, and these these are the holders that the springs slide into. And then they push against these to to hold them into a pocket. So I'm going to put that back together and uh, see if I can actually get this thing to turn over correctly. Okay, where do we leave off? I, uh, I got the uh, starter clutch back on with the new springs and I tightened up those bolts and put uh, red Loctite on there to lock them in. Uh, it, since then it uh, it grabs and it it'll turn the the motor over might be slipping just a hair but I'm, I'm not quite sure uh, it's a hell of a lot better than it was I got that old starter in there that I just cleaned everything up put that back together it's got enough horsepower to get it cranking I had it running uh, ran it for quite a long time actually but uh, Come to find out, find out I, I thought I was running on two cylinders, but I was only running on one. The left rear cylinder here is the only one that was firing. I didn't, uh, I hadn't cleaned the carbs out at that point. I just blew air through them and ran some uh, carb cleaner through them. You know, externally just kind of poured it down the, the intake pipe and let it soak in there. But I think the pilot jets were mainly plugged up. But uh, I thought I had low compression because things weren't sounding right when I was turning it over. So uh, I checked the compression. Uh, this one was 180 PSI. This one was 150. The right uh, front was 135 and the right rear was 150. So it's not that's not very good actually. They should all be within 10% of each other, but uh, you know what? Uh, this is just a basket case type bike, so I'm just gonna fire it up the way it is, and I hope hopefully uh, if I get these, I got I had taken the carbs off in the meantime. Also, I'm taking those apart right now. I got two of them, two of them redone. It looked like the pilot jets were clogged up in uh, in the two but actually uh, they didn't look all that bad somebody else had already been in here and probably rebuilt them once or twice who knows a lot of the screws are all messed up but uh, here's one of the carbs I can take all this stuff out I'm basically just cleaning them all up blowing Carb cleaner through them and cleaning the passages, cleaning them inside and out, making sure all the passages uh, are passing liquid through them. That's about it. I'll let you know. I'll know what I have.